Hi guys, in this sailing tips video we're going to talk about how you can live on a small boat without a water maker. We don't have a water maker on this boat and we only have 120 litres water storage on board. This is our water maker. A 20 litre jerry can, still got the price on it, it was four euros 40. The reason we're making this video is because we read recently about somebody who's preparing a boat for a long voyage where they want to live aboard a tanker for long periods and they were saving up money to buy a water maker which they were struggling to afford but they thought that it was necessary to buy one in order to avoid staying in marinas. Well that's just not true, there are two different ways of doing it. The first way is what we did when we went on our honeymoon to Corsica. We stayed on the boat for 23 days, we were anchored every single night and at the time we weren't using this jerry can method but what we did was we conserved our water, we used very little water brushing our teeth with a tiny amount for example and halfway through the holiday we went into a port, we didn't stay overnight but we just paid to get the water. You can also find free water at lots of petrol stations so if you go to get fuel for your boat often you can get free water anyway. The second method in our opinion is the best and that is just to take a jerry can with you every time you go ashore. Then you can find a free water fountain pretty much everywhere. You refill your tank, put it in your tender. When you go back to your boat, you transfer it to your water tank. And doing this, we've just spent a couple of weeks at anchor and when we got back, the tank was still full because every couple of days we were filling the tank and putting it into our main water tank. So it's very simple. You don't have the expense or the maintenance or the hassle of owning a water maker. So it's a valid way of doing it and this could make the difference for someone who's buying a boat or preparing themselves to go on a big journey. This extra expense could be the thing that's stopping them from being able to go and do it. So you don't need a water maker necessarily. In our opinion, on a boat of this size, a water maker isn't practical because not only do you have to find the space to fit the water maker, which would take up some room, we could find the room for that on board, but the problem is the power requirements for a water maker are huge. So on top of the water maker, you then have to have an external generator or a very, very large amount of extra power generation just to run your water maker. So from that sense, in our minds, it's not really practical for a smaller boat. Also, they're really expensive, not just to buy, but also to maintain. The membranes are very expensive and they take a lot of maintenance. A lot of the time you'll be going to your boat and you'll be spending time fixing the water maker rather than enjoying your boat. So they do have advantages. I'm not saying that nobody should have a water maker. It depends on your circumstances. But what we're saying is you don't need a water maker. You can make it work without one. If you have a bigger boat, then you've got room for the water maker and its spares. And you've also got room for the extra power generation required to run the water maker. So the calculation may be different on a larger boat. But in our minds, on a, a small boat around this size, 30 foot, a water maker is not really practical. And you don't need one because this is a water maker. Do you agree? Yes or no? Comment below and let us know what you think. Before you leave, check out the rest of our videos. We've got lots of different kind of videos coming. Boat recipes, boat maintenance, sailing vlogs, sailing tips, all kinds of different stuff. If you like what you see, then please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Ciao. Ciao.